Hello and welcome to our channel. My name is Robert from tmile.com and today I'm gonna show you how to sell digital files using WordPress with Easy Digital Downloads plugin. Before you can put your first digital product up for sale, there are a few settings to sort out. After installing the plugin, a new Downloads tab will appear on your dashboard. Click on it and choose the Settings option. By default, Easy Digital Downloads will automatically set up Checkout, Success and Transaction pages for your site. Everything you need for a user to complete a purchase. In this first section, you can change which pages the plugin will use, in case you want to set up alternatives on your own. For now, we recommend sticking with the default and styling them as necessary. Once you're done, go to the top of the page and click on Currency Settings. In this screen, you can set the default currency for your store as well as a couple of other minor settings including the position of the currency symbol. After taking care of those settings, there's only one more thing to configure before making that first sale. Payments. It goes without saying, but you shouldn't make a sale without figuring out how you'll get paid beforehand. Easy Digital Downloads enables you to use two payment platforms out of the box, PayPal and Amazon Payments. To get started, return to the Plugins Settings page and click on the Payment Gateways tab. All you have to do is enable the platforms you want to use by ticking the boxes next to Payment Gateways. Then choose a default gateway. After that, you can pick which icons to include alongside your options so users can tell at a glance what payment methods they can use. If you are planning to use PayPal to handle your payments, you'll also need to fill out some additional fields. Click on the PayPal standard link below the Payment Gateways tab to take care of them. The first field is self-explanatory. The second PayPal page style is an optional field. If you'd like to create a custom page style for your PayPal checkout page, take a look at the resources section in the description below. There are links you can access to learn more. Now for the most important part, adding a digital file to your inventory and putting it up for sale. Go to your dashboard and click on Downloads Add New. First of all, you'll have to pick a name and a description for your digital file. The next step is to set a price. The option to do this should appear right below the main WordPress editor. Now scroll down until you reach the download file section and leave default as the product type. Then use the form below to upload the actual file you want to sell and set a name for it. When that's done, go ahead and click the publish button. Now your item is ready to go and you have two options to display it. Firstly, you can use its unique shortcode which you can find next to the editor below the publish button. On the other hand, you can also insert the downloads shortcode anywhere on your site, which will display all your items for sale. This is the perfect solution if you are thinking about displaying multiple items. That's the basics covered. If you are ready to take things further, then we'd recommend checking out Easy Digital Downloads Superb Knowledge Base. And again, you can find a link to this resource in the description below. Thanks for watching. Click the parrot on the screen right now to subscribe. Then click the bell and check send all notifications for this channel. This way, you'll be notified every time we upload our latest tutorials about WordPress. Share them if you like what you see. Hit the like button and ask any question in comments below.